Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are like me, then you are probably doing online school right now, whether that's high school or college, or you might be working from home because of COVID. If you are not used to having to do everything from home, then you might be struggling to keep up with everything, to stay productive, to get things done. Today, I'm just going to share with you guys how I have been trying to stay productive throughout this whole time that we're going through. Let's get right into it. My first suggestion for you guys is to get up and shower and get dressed and everything like you are going to school or like you are going to work. If you do everything in the morning like you normally would when you were getting ready to go to work or go to school, then your brain is kind of like, oh, we're getting into work mode now or we're getting into school mode now. And it also just helps you personally feel more productive because when you just lay in your pajamas all day, you don't brush your hair, you don't look the part, then that's just gonna make you want to lay in bed longer and not wanna get up and do anything because that's what you're dressed for. It's like a dress for success kind of thing. My second suggestion is to make sure you still eat and eat at the most regular times that you possibly can that you normally would and to try and eat healthy because it's really easy to just eat snacks all day and not really eat meals because you're supposed to be staying home and there's a ton of snacks probably in your house because you've probably been grocery shopping. You want to try and stay consistent with when you eat and what you eat so that you aren't running off of junk because if you're just running off of junk all the time then you're gonna stay tired and you're not gonna get that motivation to get up and do your work and to do your schoolwork and be productive that day. So I just had some apples and peanut butter for breakfast this morning and it tied me over to lunch. Look who came to see us. Hi, Hi Olivia. Oh, the third thing that I suggest for you guys is to make a to-do list. It's more so that you can feel the reward of getting things done. When you get to check those things off or you get to cross those things off, it's very, very satisfying. And for most of us in our minds, it'll make us feel really good that we have gotten to check some stuff off and it'll make us wanting, want to keep going so that we can get the whole list checked off and like feel very accomplished. I definitely, definitely suggest making a to-do list and sticking to it as best as you possibly can. And if you're one of those people that likes to make their to-do list like really cute and almost like bullet journal-like, then do that if that helps you stay productive. For me, I personally just like to make a simple, basic, write everything down for the day. Um, but if that's what you're into, then go ahead and do that. The next thing that I suggest for you guys to do is to do the stuff that you are dreading the most first. Usually the stuff that you're dreading the most is like the biggest stuff that you have to get done or like it's just the stuff that you don't want to do. And if you do all of the things that you don't really mind doing first, you're going to feel like you got a lot done that day and then you're not going to do the rest of it because you're like oh i already did like look at all these things i already did i don't need to do these other things because i was very productive today but in reality those are like the biggest things that are probably going to take the longest that you probably need to get done more than the other stuff that you wanted to do my least favorite chore is to do the dishes i hate doing them we don't have a dishwasher i have to do them by hand so um that is what I did first today because I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to get it done, get it out of the way so that I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. The next thing that I did was getting my room straightened up and everything, which I also hate doing and I hate putting my laundry away. But I got that stuff done so that I could do my homework, which I also hate doing my homework. So I needed a clean space where I could focus and get that done because that was really, really important and something that I was dreading doing. And those were like the top three things that I really didn't want to do today, but I just did those things first so that I could get them out of the way and know that I really did get something done that mattered and that needed to be completed. And then the stuff that was left on my list was more stuff that I was actually looking forward to doing that I like was going to enjoy doing. It was like filming and editing stuff which I like doing, so 
I got to look forward to that after getting that other stuff done. My next suggestion for you guys is to take breaks throughout the day, um, but don't get carried away. So when I say take a break, I mean take like a five or 10 minute break and be very strict with yourself on those because I know I tend to sit down to take a break and then I sit down for like two hours and scroll through TikTok or watch YouTube videos for two hours or fall asleep and take like a three hour nap and there's, you know, all of that time lost. Really the longest break that you should probably take is like 15 minutes. Any longer than that, you're going to get too comfortable and you're not going to want to get up and keep working. You're just going to want to stay where you are. If you work the entire day through and do everything without taking any breaks, then you might get like worn out and then that's not going to be good for you either so taking breaks is definitely important just for your physical and mental health trying to get things done throughout the day especially when you're locked inside um during this time go outside you know sit on your porch go for a walk around the block maybe take your dog out something to get out of the house for a few minutes just to refresh your brain and refresh your body so that you are ready to continue getting things done throughout the rest of the day. My next suggestion for you guys is to really just do it. Just wake up, get ready, and just do it. I know for me, I am the biggest procrastinator and I will find any excuse to stop doing what I'm doing or to say, oh, well, I need to do this first or like, this can wait or whatever and I will literally find any excuse not to do it and I will just keep pushing it off and keep pushing it off and if you keep doing that then obviously you are never going to get anything done so you really just need to do it like just do it that's probably the biggest thing is to just get started another tip I have for you guys too is to plan something at the end of your day whether that's you know a movie night with your family or giving yourself however much time to like watch TV or you know get on TikTok or whatever just plan something for yourself at the end of the day so that you have something to look forward to because if you're just doing all this work and you have nothing to look forward to after or nothing to make it like worth it almost then it's kind of pointless it's going to make you not want to do it even more because you have nothing to look forward to. But if you have something to look forward to, like, oh, when I get this done, I get to go do this, or I get to do this. And I know that's kind of hard right now since we can't really do anything at the moment, but like, even if it's just, oh, I get to go on a hike with my best friend or something like that. Because I know here in Ohio, our governor told us that we can still go to like, state parks and stuff and like take walks and like all of that, those things. Another tip I have for you guys is to make sure throughout the day that you're drinking plenty of water because if you're getting dehydrated you're gonna get tired and you're not you're gonna maybe start not feeling that great and you're not gonna want to continue to get things done but if you keep yourself hydrated and you keep yourself fueled up with good foods and good liquids then you are going to do so much more and get so much more done and just be so much more productive. That is all I have for you guys today. I really hope that these tips helped and these are just some of the things that I do so if you guys do anything differently then feel free to leave it in the comments below I'd love to know what works for you and what doesn't I'm wishing you all a whole lot of luck in your online school journey especially if you are not used to it like me that is everything I have for you so I will see you guys all in the next video bye